Very different look at Blue Black Control mm -hmm. from Michael Hanley than we saw a minute ago from Caleb. And then this is... Oh, these Planeswalkers are weird. One Soren and one Karn Liberated. Ooh, Soren! My daughter likes Soren. It looks like another... Um, another black, black blue deck. Black blue red. It's got mountains. Oh, mountain. Woo. What is this? Galvanic Blast. Slagstorm. One Slagstorm and two Galvanic Blast. Oh, ooh, we got the match going. Okay, so Eric has got black blue... Grixis. Grixis, Tezzeret, Tezzeret Plague Mirror, Solemn. No Snapcaster Mage. Who won the first game? Uh, looks like they're going to game three. Oh, they're going to the game three. Okay. And it's been land go, land go. Think twice. That's probably going to resolve. Nobody counters those things twice. Yeah. Is there even counter spell to be had? I to I'd rather counter the spell that he draws. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. And Surgical Extraction. Ooh, I don't Ooh. hate that play. Wait, oh, if Mike has more Think Twice in his hand, it will be brutal, right? Probably he's got Black Sun Zenith. Oh, writing down cards. What are those What looks are those like, guys to the cards to the right? There's Karn, two cards. Looks like a, a looks like a land, maybe? Is that Black Sun Zenith? Yeah, there's a Black two, Sun Two, two Black, Black Sun Zenith. What's in between them then? I think that's a man there's a mana lake is the blue card. And I can't tell what the... Has he got a land, actually? I think that's a swamp next to the Karn. Hmm. It would be awesomer if he had had three Think Twices in his hand. That would have been really awesome. That would have been fair. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, no, not well. Give another Hmm? And he's looking through to make sure they're all gone. He's like, only three think twice. What the? Imagine he saw Caleb's deck with zero think twice. I know. <laughs> All right. All right, Mike is shuffling his deck, as, as should be done. Um, yes. Otherwise, a judge will give well. you a, a warning or a, you know, write your name on the little sheet. <laughs> You need to shuffle well. There's <laughs> nothing like Eric wrong with that. Eric took a long time to... Back in the day, you weren't allowed to write notes about your, your opponent's cards that were revealed to you while you had priority. I think that's a better rule. What do you think about that? Well, I, think, I think it's fine. I mean, as long as, you know, you're not uh, taking forever. Oh, that was... Is that the... The Mill Land? Is uh, it Inkmark Nexus? It might be Nexus. Ghost Quarter. Maybe? No. I think it's Nexus, actually. Because, it see, it's like colorless, so I think it's Yeah, that's probably, it's probably Igmoth Nexus. Solemn Simulacrum. Sad bot. Didn't he know there was a mana leak in his opponent's hand? Maybe he's trying to uh, bait it out so he can land Tezzeret. I'm guessing Fine. that he's not actually trying to do that. I think he just forgot. <laughs> Even though he wrote the cards <laughs> yes, down. <laughs> I think he actually just forgot. That card's pretty good, you know? Like, I, I wouldn't... Actually, I don't like Ponder that much in Standard in this kind of a deck. I don't, I don't, I don't like Ponder very much anymore just because you don't have a way to shuffle away the bad cards. It's, it's, good, it's good against Werewolves, though. So, like, if your opponent's Werewolves fair, are flipped, fair. and even if, like, you have no cards, you can rip a Ponder and then, like, Ponder into a second spell to flip the Werewolves. Yeah, see? I bet, I bet he baited out the, the Mana Leak so he can land the Tezzeret. All right, you win. Now he's going to win because if you don't answer that Tezzeret, it's going to get over real quick. He, have, he has an artifact to get. Actually, oh, he can, he can only get an artifact, right? He can't just, like, get that extra Tezzeret for backups or anything? That no, would be it's, pretty it's, good. It's, it's, like, it's only artifacts. Look at the top five. Keep whichever one you like the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cheater's justice to be version of Tezzeret. <laughs> I'm going to keep this one. Okay. Plays a black red land. So and does he have, does he have uh, yep, Tezzeret's Gambit? He has like all Tezzeret themed cards. Hmm. Oh, he's playing Witchbane Orb in, in, in his sideboard. Yeah, but it's, it's kind of like, like a ivory mask that any any color can play. Yeah. Right? Or if somebody curses you like 14, like, like curses on you, you're like covered in curses. You're like, <laughs> is, it, oh, is there a curse deck? I mean, like maybe it's like the, the book Thinner by Stephen King. You're like, 
You're just gonna get thinner and thinner until you waste away. <laughs> You're like, sorry, bruh. <laughs> or Gypsy Queen or whatever. Witch Bane Orb. And like, no, not no. Witch Bane Orb. <laughs> you foiled my plans. Like so. Let's see, what's he got? He's playing Play another a... Trinket Mage to go So and Big get. Trinks is gonna get. He get Mox Opal. He get. Uh... Mox Opal, you Mox were Opal. right the first time. Oh, okay. Does he even have Metalcraft? Um, it's possible in his deck. No, I mean in play right now. I oh, mean, does no, it? it doesn't look like it. Uh, he's got, the only artifact he seems to have right now is just the Mox Opal, right? Oh, no, Ratchet. Ratchet Bomb. Ratchet so there's style. two. Too bad Trina Mage wasn't an artifact creature. He's so good. I mean, he's a... Trinket Mage is a cross-format all-star that has won multiple Pro Tours. He's already pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's just like, oh, Mai's get Sensei's Demining Top. Now what is this creature? Uh, or spell? It is in... Oh, I recognize the art. It is in... Uh, Massacre? Maybe it's like an alternate... It's, Oh, it's a Grave Titan. Oh, Duel's Grave Titan. Oh, fancy. Did he put a counter on the Ratchet Pole? Uh, I think so. He did. Why? Maybe he has no. Maybe he has no fear of the Grave Titan or its associated zombies. Maybe. Does he have like any kind of a, a sweeper? Oh, he has Black Sun Zenith. Uh, yeah. Right? And Slagstorm, I mean, that kind of deals with the zombies, at least. Well, I mean, the 6-6 six, six is the one that I'm more... Oh, oh does of he course. Have, does he have Tumble Magnet or anything? Does he have Tumble Magnet? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I saw one in his hand. Oh, and then it's no problem. Tev's Grave Titan. <laughs> Eric reaches for the deck. There's a Contagion class. That will take think, a long time to take yeah. out a... But I think that was all he could, was get. All he could did, get. I didn't. I, I didn't quite see another artifact in there. If you're Mike, are you like feeling pretty confident right now? I would. I would be if I were Mike. However, if I saw Eric's script, I might not feel so confident. <laughs> it looks like Eric's got some good stuff in his hand. Yep. There goes yeah, the tumble, tumble magnet. magnet. And he's got the clasp. And is that a contagion engine? Is it? He have the contagion in his deck. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. And he's got a Zenith in hand, too. Yeah, Mike's probably feeling pretty good right now, but... Uh... I mean, Tezzer is on the short list of Planeswalkers where if you're playing blue and you don't deal with it, like, you're just you're... done quick. It's like, it's like cough but worse, right? <laughs> Any... So he's going to bring... I, I mean, just obviously doesn't care. Man, well, I guess he's going to try to uh, Black Sun Zenith for four. So if he blocks with a Grave Titan, Mike's like, I call your bluff. Yep, there goes the Zenith, though. So he doesn't get rid of the Grave Titan, but he shrinks it. So this should be pretty academic soon, right? So Eric's going to get Contagion X on play, whatever kind of Contagion it is. He's going to be able to maintain the counters on on trinket, um, sorry, on tumble magnet indefinitely. Mm -hmm. He's gonna draw up forever and a day with uh, with Tezzeret. He's probably even gonna ever go ultimate with Tezzeret, right? Is that a worm coil engine? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Eric's like, wait, let me put a counter on. <laughs> no way. <laughs> on tapping lands, <laughs> no counter, no uh, sir. He draws another tumble magnet. So, is that a Tezzeret's Gambit in his hand? <laughs> I really like that card. I, Tezzeret's I, Gambit? Yes, I think, it's, I think it's really good. I think it's I think it's pretty good. I mean, obviously in the right deck, of course. It's the kind of card I've, I've always wanted to play it, and it just never made the cut for me in a lot of decks. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, maybe it's good here. I, I, I have to I mean, admit... Look I've, at what he gets to proliferate on. So many things. A proliferate is a powerful ability, for sure. Place the class. So he should clasp the worm coil engine. Then on the next turn, how many counters are on each of those tumble magnets? Three and uh, two? Three and two. Yeah. 
three and two. Okay, yeah, that's the right play. So then he just proliferates the mold to death and then keeps his tumble magnets alive indefinitely. If I were Mike, I would probably just pack here. Like, it's yeah. no fun to play the rest of this game. They're, uh, they're, but, but see, Mike doesn't know that Eric's got the... The board itself is the complete lockdown. I don't know how Mike could ever get out of this. Does he have enough permanents uh, that can deal with this stuff? Well, let's see. Me as Soren and Karn. I guess yeah. he has Soren and Karn. Maybe, you know, tap those guys down. Eric can just, like... Does he have Ink Moth Nexus in his deck? He does. Um, he has four Ink Moth Nexus. Mm -hmm. It won't take him very long to kill Mike. You just want, if you want to, you can just go Ink Moth Nexus as a five, and then, or even Ink Moth Nexus as a one, and then he can he can scratch him to death with the proliferates. That's true. Well, he's you know hanging in there for the glory. Maybe he can turn around. There's no glory in this. This game's taking forever. I mean, some games I think people should super hang on. Other ones. The one's just like, all right. This one is just like. When it's time to pack it in, huh? This one's a, a 45 minute headache. That's, that's how you look at it from the other side. And the, the thing that is really the terrible part about it is, from Eric's side of the table, he's so happy. <laughs> Seeing a happy opponent is about the worst thing there is in any kind of competitive endeavor. Like, if your opponent's happy, it's just like, why is he so happy? That's the worst. <laughs> no joy in one No joy in Nashville. So he's like, oh, I'm going to cast some spells. What is this? Just Tesseract Gambit. He's going to draw cards and proliferate. And he paid the full four? Oh, uh, man. It's it looks like he only tapped three mana. I, I think Unless, one of them is covered by is, another Is it? One. Yeah. Oh, snap. Snap. What's he going to snap for? He's going to mana leak it. And Eris going to be like, OK, I guess I'll pay. No, you should be like, fine. Resolved. Do not pay for this. Goes to graveyard. No, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. There he goes. He pays. Oh, he did pay life. Okay, he paid life. And he's proliferating. And has he drawn yet? No. Okay. <laughs> You roll heads four times in a row? Yeah, man. Four in a row? <laughs> Three and one or four-oh. So he gets a land and a set. Medina is four-oh, wow. Okay. I'll, tell that, I'll tell your story for that last match. <laughs> I would love to see John Medina in the top eight. Me too. I would love it. All right, Neil Spellbomb here. And Mike untaps. Can you can't see what's in his hand, but I can't imagine it's going to be anything to do him well. Yeah, attack Tezzeret, Tever. What is that? Phyrexian Crusader. Phyrexian? Where is that card? It's on oh, the sideboard. sideboard. Yep. Mike's got all different kinds of cards. <laughs> he's got poisons, he's got instant getters, he's got artifacts, it's he's got planeswalkers. Black, blue, Good old boy's deck. <laughs> what is the definition of a good old boy? I only know it from Dukes of Hazard when I was a kid. Never mean to no harm. Yeah. But they've been in trouble with the law since they were born. <laughs> Actually, in Roanoke, for the longest time, there was a, a General Lee car for sale on the way to Star City Games. Was it very expensive? Actually, I never, I never actually went to go see how much they wanted for it, but it looked, it looked uh, really awesome. Speaking of very expensive, Liliana oh, no. of the ginger ale. <laughs> I thought that was a good one. So wait, wait, let's see. He doesn't want. If he makes him sack, Mike's just gonna sack the worm coil engine, right? That's kind of pointless. Yeah. Oh, is he just gonna proliferate first? Oh, that's kind of filthy. Now what? Is that a batter wow. skull in his hand? Is he a batter skull? Uh, no, I think it's a solemn and a contagion engine. So. The only thing that I don't like about Tezzeret in the current format is that there's no Everflowing Chalice anymore, right? So there's yeah. yeah, there's no abusive mana engine. But he looks to be doing real well with this deck. 
What did he get with the... Uh... Uh, Plague Mirror, it looks like. Ah. Plague Mirror's a fine card. Yes. So, let's see. Does he have Defenders? It's hard to see the bottom half of this. Uh, no, he has Infect and he taps for a colorless. No, no. Does he? Huh? Does Eric have Defense against oh. the vile opposition over here? <clears throat> oh, he tapped down the little guys. Oh, and then sixing up the big guys. And he's going to produce a couple of worm engines, right? Or worm, worm coil life death tokens. <laughs> UMTG taps life death tokens! Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Karn liberated. Uh-oh. Oh. Looks like a game. How did uh -oh. this happen? Oh, if he gets oh, if he gets Karn up there, he gets to get Liliana to play on turn one. Whoa, when did this become a game? I was watching a, like the 2008 NBA Finals with Zvi Moshwitz and some other guys, and we were like eating barbecue. <laughs> and uh, the Lakers were up by, I think, 49 points in the first half, like by landing every three pointer. And then they lost. <laughs> and like, it, it was at some point when Zvi was like, we were just like screwing around, playing magic and stuff. Like it happened to be like in a bar, like eating barbecue while the NBA Finals was playing. And just, when did this become like, a basketball game? And then so uh, that in the ESPN coverage afterwards, they asked Kobe, they're like, "Well, how, how do, what do you do? How do you recover after a game like that?" And Kobe goes, "So co." <laughs> was his response. <laughs> I like up wow. forty nine points. It's like seven touchdowns. Like, eh. Lose. Ouch. So anyway, so this is the Hester this is the equiv. Has, All right. Has passed on. Jens Thorin is coming into play. I mean, he has the Contagion Engine. You said right. So yeah, he's got Contagion Engine, which. I mean that that Karn Liberator is going to be a serious problem, though. Of course. Um, I mean, he doesn't, like, I mean, he's just now got a creature on board that can, you know, start trying to deal with this, but he plays. Plague Mirror. Oh, okay. We got that guy, too. Well, but. Could he have just won there by using Tezzeret and ultimate then ultimate nugget and just... him for 100 damage? Wow. Oh, no. And, like, if he loses this game. Punt, 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 punt. <laughs> I bet Mike's like, all right, all right, I'm feeling a little bit better. Because I mean, Karn's just going to make Tezzer disappear, right? Of course. Like, I, I mean, if... Taps down the Crusader. He has five artifacts, right? One, two, three... He loses four. a counter from his Tumble Magnet? Has he not been proliferating? No. Is this Defeat from the Jaws of Victory 101? Oh my goodness. Oh, and he's making him discard. Wow. Mike just turned this game around. Yeah. I guess we were wondering, you know, uh, how, how, how he could do it. Wait, so what happens? Oh. There's a Tezzeret from his hand that's it under, uh, under the Karn Liberated now. I thought he got rid of the Liliana. No, no, the was the first thing he got rid of with the, by destroying it on the board, right? I that's, so. a, that's a Tezzeret underneath that token, right? I can't, it, I can't tell him. Oh, it, Maybe it's a Liliana. Maybe he made him disappear Tezzeret to begin with. I think we start, I think that, yeah, started off with the assumption that. that he got rid of Liliana and left Tezzeret. Yeah, so he discarded the Doom Blade. Okay, got it. That, that's why he didn't okay. kill him. Okay. okay. It's obviously impossible to tell from the, from the glare. So now he brings out the engine. So, okay. Got it. So. Well, it might not be hopeless. No, it's not hopeless at all. Now he can, uh, well, Karn's got a fair number of counters. He's at seven. And then, does he have enough mana to proliferate those guys down now? Uh, yeah, because I think it only costs four. Uh, and 
kill, kill, kill. They're dead. Magnet up. Oh, they're I mean, the Yo and TGAP, TG Tabs tokens. It's okay. So. Yeah. Come back what, later. Oh, the Plague Mirror had to tap. I was like, where's the Plague Mirror? Yeah. Okay, so they're going to attack Karn. Um, Put Karn down to five. What's Karn's plus? How, how much does he get? Plus three? I think it's plus three. All right. So I think he has to attack Karn, yeah. Eric is attacking Karn, knocking down his loyalty a little bit. I think... Mike is not in a bad position at all, though. Ooh, Karn is plus four. Oh, it's plus four. Minus three. Okay. And it's minus 14 for his ultimate. Is this any kind of permanent? Uh, yes. So he could just take minus a solemn three, simulacrum exit, here. Minus three, target permanent. Um, let's see, it's at five right now, so he can put it minus three to get the solemn simulacrum. And then uh, Plague Mirror will attack it to one, but it won't be dead. And then he could just start playing the plus four game. Ooh, Black Sun, oh, he doesn't have to. Black Sun Zenith. Yep. Make him discard his last card. Eric only has one card, is that correct? Uh, looks like it. Yeah, so make him discard that. Ting, it is a Plague, Plague mirror. mirror. No, that's that's over here, Eric. <laughs> Not Sorry, <over> boss. <laughs> Sorry, brah. And I actually think there's no number of Contagion Engine activations that are going to pull wow. Eric out of this game, I cannot which is unreal. He has, like, like this punt of the century. Maybe not so bad. I, I don't. No, I mean, I, I, mean I, I think that Eric should have just tried to kill Mike instead of playing like this Nandy Pamby game or really, like Value Value. Yeah. Um, now he's in. I mean, he, he's lost a counter on one on, on his tumble magnet, so he's like, is that a land in his hand? Uh, yeah, he can proliferate Karn. <laughs> Ouch. So let's see. Big ups. Is, so is there still Liliana in play? Yes. Yes. I, I believe right. that that Liliana is what he played. We thought he got rid yeah, of Liliana. Yeah, we thought we got Liliana, Liliana and left Tezzeret. Oh, is that Ultimate Liliana? When did this happen? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, of course he's gonna choose the the, the Karn. It's Karn. Oh, he's, like, he's like all your lands. Karn V. Karn. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice, nice one. Nice rip. And he's like, wait, let me tap this correctly. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but grave actually, grave Titans are relevant, right? He's got yeah. two tokens, but there's a there's a. A tumble magnet tax being being levied on him. Yeah, but I mean, he, he can still get through the, with the zombies. Kind of, right? Like, Eric just has to play any creature that's a little bit bigger than a. Oh, not that creature. No, I don't think that's quite good enough. Uh, it's proliferating. Oh, why did he use his last counter off the off the uh, the tumble magnet? I think, was I, a, I think he, he tapped a guy so he could uh, hit Karn. With some damage. Ten dollar draft number five. Ten dollar draft number five. So he's pushing his cards too fast. Let's see what he's uh, ready to begin. Tap Grave Titan. What's that card? It's the Edict. Tribute to Hunger. Oh, and he got Liliana. Okay. So Mike, Mike's gonna try to ride one two two creature to uh, to Victoria here. Does Mike have no poison counters on him? Uh, I don't believe so. He ghost quartered there. What what card did he ghost quarter? Let's speculate what land it must have been. Igma Nexus um. maybe. For anything for him to care enough, it must have been yeah. Inkmon Nexus. I mean, any, anything else at this point well, yeah, doesn't but matter. Inkmon Nexus is potentially problematic because he... Actually, could Eric have scratched Mike with Inkmon Nexus earlier and then just proliferated him to death? Is that possible? He might have just played it. I don't remember there being an Inkmon Nexus. Uh, we, it's hard to tell which lands are in play. That's, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, you're probably right. Is that a Phyrexian Crusader now? That is. Oh, wow. Choices, choices. Ah. Goes in for two regular, two poison. 
Does he have another uh, contagion engine that he can that he can get? Because that would be pretty awesome. Uh, no. It looks like he just has the one. Too bad he doesn't have a way to bounce it. He can play like steel sabotage. This is bad. He's got Doomblade in his hand. That doesn't kill any of these creatures, does no. it? No. I think. Does it only kill Snapcaster Mage? For and Consecrated Sphinx. Worm Coil Engine. Yeah, but if the Metamorph is targeting, you know. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and that was that a ponder? Yes. You know what Mike needs to get? A Snapcaster Mage. You like that guy a lot, don't you? He's very good. <laughs> I don't buy a lot of cards, but I bought him. But doesn't Mike only have a... He only has three in his deck. Yeah, it makes me sad. I mean, this game's gone on long enough. I mean, he very, very <laughs> could have, you know, very You're well just ready have. for it to be done? <laughs> this game's gone on long no, enough. No, no, well, I mean, it's Let's just, just call it's a been, winner. It's been interesting to see it swing back and forth, you know, although Eric's definitely backpedaling now. Oh, well, he's got Zenith in hand. Oh, well. Oh, like counter spell. He doesn't get shuffled in. I think Dissipate is a really good counter spell for this format. Yeah, it was always good. I mean, like, people are willing to play Cancel, and Dissipate's just Cancel bonus, right? Ratchet Bomb. Well, so many flashback cards. I, th I think it was a, a very good add. And let's see what Eric draws. So Eric's down to all the way down to 20. Is that another Zenith? Yep. Okay. These guys have some kind of time extension, right? The rest of the round well, they over? They should. Yeah. From moving their match over. All right, so. Mike has no threats. Eric has no threats. <laughs> <laughs> and this game swings again. It's got a million tumble magnet a, a, counters. It's got a single very powerful tumble magnet. And he draws. Eric draws another land. I think I like Eric's position better because he's got 20 life and he could just pull um, a Tezzeret and then just completely take the game uh, back over. Oh, these guys have a nine minute extension, we're told by the great wizard Oz. Now there's a Metamorph. Ooh, the Metamorph will copy what? Tumble Magnet? Tumble Magnet? magnet? No, it contagion should copy engine? Contagion Engine. Oh, is it because he proliferates? Yep. yep. To ya and untap to ya. Wow. Yep. Wow. Very nice. Wow. It's a good thing about Metamorph, it doesn't always copy a creature. 